So, <laughs> shocking. Uh, I haven't done this before, um, but I'm really amazed with these Mitchell colour palettes. So I've used it to do my contour and my full face. So I'm about to blend it in now. Oh, actually, before I blend it in, I'm going to go over it with the blushes. So I've got one in shade Cream Clave or Creme Clave. That sounds posh. If I could get it bloody open with these nails. <laughs> and the, these can be used as a contour. You can use them on your eyes. You can use them on your lips. It's a, it says it's a liquid blusher, but it's actually a multi-use product. It's amazing. So I used the colour case to do the uh, overall carving and contouring. Um, I used this shade here, which is shade Caramel. Got it upside down, I doubt. So this shade here, shade caramel, that's what you can see on my eyes and my head and my cheeks. Um, I used the all white for a highlight on my eyes. Um, I used it as a base for my eye colour. Uh, and then I used this shade next to it, creamsicle. Um, for my cheeks, highlighter, chin, cheeks, head. Um, and now I'm going to... Oh, and I used the complete black, yeah. The deep. That shade there for my eyeliner. I've already done my eyelashes. You know, needs blending a little bit, but that's what I'm about to do. So, just uh, accentuate what I've already done with this blush. I'm just gonna go in with a you know a few dots there. Very subtle, I'm not gonna go too heavy with it. I mean it looks horrendous now, but you just have to trust the process. Uh bear with me. You know, and just a couple of dots here. You know, it is what it is, you just have to trust the process. And then sit back and admire the results. Now for a blush, I've got this one called Peach Sugar. So this is just going to go on the apples of my cheeks. I uh, should have opened these before, but I never think I had me. I'm an in-the-minute person. All right. Oh, a little goes a long way on that. You don't need much, definitely. And uh, this is more of a peachy orangey tone, which I don't usually go for. I'm more of a baby pink because I'm, I'm a natural redhead. I'm very fair skinned, so these sorts of things don't fly. Get out of it. Intruding. Anyway, where was I? I was rudely interrupted. So we'll get to blending. So I'll get the uh, the puff. Got to get the puff wet. I love a wet puff. <laughs> there we go. I'm using the Charlotte Til Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Fat fly, don't get off my sweater, God. <sighs> the like. I don't know where that's come from. They're coming in because the weather's getting a bit cold. I don't know. Anyway, we rudely interrupted again. So start just blending using the one side because it's dark and then I use the other side for the lighter bits just so we don't get it too mixed up and ruin the effect. So that that is blending really good. That is, you know, I'm really impressed with that. That really is something. Look in the mirror. Yeah, definitely. That is, I'm really pleased with that. That is, I think it's twenty five pound. That palette, like, it's the best twenty five quid I've ever spent, and and it's just perfect. 
I mean, when you're looking at it online, it looks a lot bigger, to be honest. So when I've watched all the tutorials on TikTok, it is a lot. It just looks bigger, but it's not that big. But it doesn't matter because there's still plenty of product in there. And the little goes a long way. So this is a palette that's going to last. You're not going to be buying one of these every three months. I certainly won't. I have palettes that last me years. I don't take any notice of sell by dates with makeup. You know, I know how to sort of reinvigorate old makeup. And I will use it till it is literally empty because I can't afford to be spending money on that every, you know, products every month. It's ridiculous. You know, in this day and age, you have to make things last, you know. Times are hard. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with this. I'm like a bloody clown tonight at the minute. <laughs> Honestly, some people, you just don't realise that us women have to go through just to look good. <laughs> it is what it is. And this isn't, this has took me ages. It really has. The more I do it, the quicker I'll get. But this isn't something that I can just throw together in the morning for the school run or whatever. You know, so people won't recognise me <laughs> with no makeup on. This is for an event or, you know, going out or if you just feel like doing it. But it will take a while to master. But, you know, you don't need to make it any more complicated than it need be. It's, you know, you, you fall into your own pattern and routine, develop your own techniques. Now for the neck and the chin, because so I've got several chins, which really annoys me because it ruins, it just ruins the look of pictures and things, doesn't it? And I know the filters can like work wonders, but still, you see now it's an about in real life and they're there, there and you can't take the filter with you, unfortunately. <laughs> So if I don't go missing, because no one will recognise me. Just under there. Using the the blender on the same side, because I'm going to use the cleaner side to do the white areas afterwards. So always do the dark areas first, so that you don't contaminate each section of your face otherwise it just ruins the effect you might as well have just put one shade of foundation all over and been completely you know flat flat color all over no depth no contour no shape just plain jane <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want not everybody's into this not everybody's into it but for those that are, I'm just sharing how I do things and and uh, showing you the benefits of using this palette. Shame I'm not getting paid for promoting it. But I'm just amazed at the products. So I buy a lot of makeup. I buy shit tons of it every month. And I'm always looking for new things and better things. So it's very rare I find something that I can stick with and stick to a routine with. But I think I will now with this because it's really good and it and it does everything they've got a colored one as well which i'm going to get soon and you can mix the shades as well might need a smaller blender for some of this but i'm just making do it a minute uh, all right Yeah, it is quite a process, you know, it takes time. And I'm just going to squeeze the blender a bit, just to make it a bit thinner. 
just go down the nose and you can see what I've done there with the eyes I've come over the brow down into the crease of my eye and down the bridge of my nose so it's all joined together and that gives that illusion of contour and shape and it keeps everything symmetrical so I, although naturally face is never symmetrical but I like to try and keep it like that because I'm, I don't like things that don't match sets my anxiety up <laughs> okay so yeah it does take a bit of blending I've got to say but that's not a problem you know if you're not in a rush uh, you know, you've got somewhere planned to go, you know, a club or down the pub or whatever, any event where you want to dress up, get glammed up. Uh, and I, I like that big glam look anyway, almost drag queen-esque, you know. I do, I, I love it. And it's like a therapy for me to do this. I just love makeup. I'm not a qualified makeup artist or anything like that by any stretch of the imagination. I'd love to do it. But it's not uh it's not my first choice of career. I've already got that in mind and it's nothing to do with beauty or makeup. Uh I wanna go into support work and therapy. That's my niche really, where my skills lie. That's something I'm pursuing at the moment, actively pursuing. This is just a hobby and this is the first time I've ever done a video. That's going to take a lot of blending. But we'll get there. So now I'm going to use the other side of the puff. <laughs> uh, the cleaner side so I can do the uh, highlights. I'll start with the forehead. I'm trying not to go over my brows because I've already done them, but I can go over them because uh, I've already carved those out. Use the small tip of the uh, blender just to get onto the brows there where it joins and meets the the bone there into the crease of the eye where we've joined the contour of the nose to the contour of the eye right so now I'm going to go under the eye with the same tip of the blender and squeeze it really tight to make it really small and look what I've done there I've got a bit of uh, yeah I'm going to have to just blend that in And do the same on that side. Uh, that didn't go in the right uh, order I planned it, but I do. I don't want to get. Uh, I don't want that colour to contaminate the other colours and then end up with bright pink under eyes where it should be highlighted. All right, and then I'm going to just take the bottom of the puff. Go over the, the lips, under the nose, tip of the nose and the chin. And then up to the cheeks, bottom of the cheeks, towards the ears. And I do like a sharp line. That does need more blending, obviously. But I do like to keep a sharp line. That's a good technique. Just press it on. Roll it around a bit. Right. So... I'm going to just take some more spray, so 
the puffs getting a bit dry. I'll have to uh, lubricate my puff a bit. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> oh, I'm so camp and corny. It's unreal. Gosh. So, yeah, I'm going to just try and uh, blend those lines in a bit. Those harsh lines. Because the thing is with this product, it does dry quickly. So you do need to keep it moist. That's one thing. It's a process. <laughs> So, I mean, these, they're like theatrical grade cut products, actually, you know. They're really uh, pigmented, really powerful. And that really works when you roll it round, that, that gives a good effect. Oh uh, yeah, just sorry to block my face off with a mirror. Just had to make sure I could see what I was doing clearly then. Uh, give it a good roll around. and It gives quite good coverage because I've got not the best skin. I used to suffer with quite bad acne. So I've had to, um, yeah, really up my game with my skincare and... You know, it, it's okay now. I don't get so many breakouts. But the scarring I've been left with, you know, it doesn't go away. You get left with all those pit marks and, you know, it's not good. Not a good look. So I like to keep them covered. Oh yeah, that took some blending. It really has. Just gently go over the eyes a little bit. The lips. I should just take a bit off the eye there, actually. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'd give that a seven or an eight, simply because it is a drying product. So you do need something to mix it with. Uh, a setting spray is a good idea, but you need to work quickly, and and that's what I've not done. I've took my time with this um, because it's the first time I've used it. So now I know. I will prepare for that for next time. Um, but this has got staying power. This will stay on all day. And I'll let you know in my next video how long it stayed on. So, yeah. You need to quickly blend it. Keep it as moist as you can as soon as it's on. Um, I actually left it to settle for a bit. So, it, it just stays there. And although I do like a straight line with my contour... Um, you know, it won't blend as well if you allow it to dry for too long. You know, you'll struggle to blend it. So when you're in the light, you know, it's not going to give the full effect of what you want. Because you want to see the effects of the contour and the benefits of the, you know, it changing the, face, the shape of your face. But also you want a nice finish. You want it blended, you want it to look natural. That's what we're trying to achieve here. So as a first attempt, what I've learned is that it's a dry product. You need a lot of setting spray or, or primer or whatever to mix it with. And what what we uh, recommend you mix it, sorry, to mix it with, you get, get yourself a little platelet or, you know, 
these little resin plates to just mix your product on or you can get a bigger um, palette and a palette knife a small palette knife and it does come with its own little palette knife actually I mean I already had one anyway but it comes with its own so that's the palette knife that I used it comes with its own I've got a brush on the end so I use that for my eyeliner um, and I've brought a little brush besides as well um, so they, they work really well right, I'm just gonna get this to its setting uh, another quick blend then I'm gonna get some really shiny highlighter on the cheekbones and on the brows the bridge of the nose Cupid's bow and then do a bit of setting powder and then I'll upload a picture of the finished article right I hope I've come across well <laughs> and I hope you've enjoyed the video see you next time